I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. Which Tevin is a very beautiful guy, eh? Yes. yes I, I've never seen the guy, but hopefully he did some work there. And I know people that complain and say Tevin is difficult. Yeah. They need to get their heads checked because Tevin is very easy. Tevin. <laughs> Tevin is the sound. Now, so with Tevin, right? Let me draw the circle that we had here on the board, which was like this. This is our Tevenin circuit. And then here, which was our load resistor. And then this was V1, this was V2, this was RL. This say, they say this one was I2, this one was I1, and then this one was I1 plus I2. Now, we're going to solve a question. Uh, we're going to solve a question using Tevenin. Let me just get the values from the book. Okay, no problem. Okay, so the text will be saying uh, on this part, V1 is uh, 12 volts. And then V2 is 9 volts. And then R2 is 6 ohms. And then R1 is 8 ohms. Supposed to be an ohm. And then RL is 12 ohms. Now the question says, Calculate the current passing through that load resistor. Are we together? Yes. Now with Tevenin, what we need to do is on our load resistor where we are calculating, we open circuit the load resistor. Are we together? Right? Yes, After we open circuit the load resistor, we're going to short circuit another power source as well. So that you're only dealing with one power source. And then we're going to have a Tevenin voltage. Now the voltage that we're going to calculate, which is referred to as the Tevenin voltage, is the voltage at the load resistor. Are we together? Right? Yes, sir. Now the, the load resistor, we're going to redraw this whole circuit, then we're going to recalculate this whole circuit so that the power is there on the load resistor. Are we together? Yes. Switch. So let's short circuit V2. Are we together? Yes. If we short circuit V2, we're going to calculate V Tevenin 1. Are we together? Are we together? Now, for v, v Tevenin 1, we're going to say V1, which is this one, because it's proportionality. Are we together? If this one is equal to that one, then that one should be equal to the how much? Are we together? So, in this case, if we open circuit here, let's call this place AB. If we open circuit AB, right, that means this is now a simple series circuit. And then V2 is short circuited. It's now a simple series circuit. Are we together? So in order for us to get the voltage that is here, now R2 and RL, they are in parallel. So if you calculate the voltage flowing through R2, that will still be the same voltage flowing through RL. And that's the same voltage that we're going to refer to as the Venin voltage. Are we together? Yes. So in this case, it will now be R2 all over R1 plus R2. Are we together? Yes. Sir. This is how we calculate our Tevenin voltage. So it's going to be 12 volts multiplied by R2, which is 6 ohms, right? Divided by 6 plus 8. Now, what do you get your answer as? It's 5,142. 5,143 volts. Now, 5,143 volts is the voltage that is at A, B. Are we together? Right. And now we will move over to V2. And then we do the exact same thing. Let's move over to V2. So in this case is short circuit V1. Are we together? Yes. After we short circuit V1, we're going to do the exact same thing again. V Tevenin. Right. Now we put two here to show that. Now this is the voltage. second voltage. Are we together? So it's now going to be V2 multiplied by now. The R1 changes. This one is now in series with this one, right? That means it's no longer in parallel with this one. If we are now looking at this power source, are we together? But if we short circuit V1, that means R1 is now in parallel with RL, are we together? So we now need to find the voltage flowing through S R1. If we find the voltage at R1, we now have the voltage at RL, are we together? Yeah. That voltage is now our Tevenin voltage. 
So it's now V2 multiplied by R1 over R1 plus R2, which in this case is going to be 9 times 8 divided by 6 plus 8. What do you get? What do you get your answer as? 5, 1, 4, 3. <laughs> Coincidence. Coincidence. Now that's a beautiful coincidence. They are the same. <laughs> Mm. Yes. They are the same voltages. Now, thank God, right? The polarities, all the voltages are feeding into one resistor. That's ooh. thank God Almighty, because <laughs> we have to subtract if they're going in different directions. But in this wow. case, they're going in the same direction. Are we together? Okay. So now, after this, we are going to redraw our circuit now, right? If we redraw our circuit, uh, let's calculate V Telvin in total, right? Is going to be 5,143 plus 5,143. Uh, what do you get our answer as? 10,286. That's correct. 10,286 volts. Now, this is now our turbulent mm -hmm. voltage. Are we together? Yes. Sir. Now, after this, we now need to calculate the current that is flowing through. Are we together? Yeah. And then the question will be done. We now need to calculate the current that is flowing through. Through. Are we together? Yeah. But before we calculate the, the current that is flowing through, we need to calculate the, uh, the resistance and then we get the current. Are we together? Now let me show you how it's done. Let me just redraw this whole circuit. You have got V of a min, which is here. Then you've got your R L, which is there. Then you've got that. Then you've got that. Are we together? Yeah. This is how the circuit is going to look now after this. Are we together? Yeah. You've got this on that side and you've got that on the other side. Are we together? Yes, sir. Now after this now it's going to be R is equals to. That's correct. Now this is going to be the total resistance, right? Here we had our resistance as 6 ohms. And then here we had our resistance as 8 ohms. Now you're going to notice that this is exactly the same mm. thing. These two are in parallel, right? Yeah. So because they're in parallel, you're going to have 8 by 6 over 8 plus 6 plus RL which was given to us is 12. Are we together? Yes. Right. What do you get? 15 comma something, right? Yes, sir. 15 comma 428. Now this is now our resistance, right? Now let us calculate the current and then we have. Now the current flowing through this now is now equals to the turbulent voltage which was 10.286 divided by the resistance which is now 15.428 and then what do you get your answer as? Now this is your final answer. Are we together? Yes sir. Yeah, yeah. 0, 0.667. Like <laughs> oh, like 6, 6. 0, 0.667 amps. Now you see you see what's going on with this with the venin, right? With the venin, the main focus was on the load resistor. We first had to calculate the voltage supplied by V1 on the load resistor, then the voltage supplied by V2 on the load resistor. But because the polarities are the same, then we add the voltages. Mm -hmm. After we add the voltages, which is what we were what we had here, right? Yeah. V the venin. And then we calculated the total resistance here. After we calculated the total resistance, then it's now the voltage divided by the total resistance to get us the current that is flowing through here. Are we together? Yes. Sir. Easy stuff, right? Yes, sir. You can't believe it. It's sad, sir. Okay, so Tervenin is finished. Now, Tervenin, they will ask it in many different ways, right? They might give you another resistor as well, right? They might put another resistor here. Right? Let's say they put another resistor here. What do you do? If they put another resistor here, right? They're going to do the exact same thing here. You short circuit this and then. Because this, this, and this will be in parallel, that means the voltage will be the same. Yes, Are we together? Yes. Then you're going to do the exact same thing in short circuit this, and then this, this, and that will be in parallel. Yes. Then you get your V turbine, and then you put it here. And then after that, you calculate your total resistance. Are we together? Yes. And then you redraw your second. You can redo it in your mind, right? When you put the, the V turbine in here, and then this, this, and this will be in parallel. Are we together? Yeah. And then you get your total current. Then you're done. And that's your turbine. What do you think? Easy, difficult, or very difficult? Okay. Can we try another example? Okay. Let's draw another example. That's a very good question. Yeah. Let's draw another example. Yes. Mm, 
Let's go to the exercises. This is that I don't have the question papers on hand. Mm -hmm. Ah, they were fine. So I don't even know. Okay. Yes, I know from question. Okay. Now here's a different question that you've never seen before. Mm. Nice one. But you find questions like this in the final exam, though, which is nice but not nice because it's a question you've never seen before. But you find a question like that in the final exam. Now, when you find a question like this, the very first thing that I need you to do is redraw it. Are we together? Yes, sir. Let me draw it the way it's drawn, and then I would need you to. I'll show you how to redraw it. Okay, sir. Thank God the polarities are, are also nice. Right, just like this. It's like this, right? Now, chances of you finding a question like this in the final exam, they are there, but you know. So you've got V1, which is equals to 6 volts. You've got V2, which is equals to 4 volts. 4 volts, so I don't know why I'm writing that. This is 6 plus 4. Then this is R1, which is 2 ohms. That's R2, which is 3 ohms. That's R4, which is 4 ohms. And then this one is RL, which is 6 ohms. And the question says, calculate the current flowing through the load resistor. Are we together? Yes. Calculate the current flowing through the load resistor. What I will tell you to do is redraw this thing. Are we together? Yes. Always redraw this thing. Now let's redraw it so that it makes sense. Eh? And you will tell me if this is something new or something that's not new. You've seen the circuits that we've been dealing with, right? Yes. Sir. Now I need you to draw it so that it looks almost exactly as that circuit. So let's start again. Now you do it on the side and you work it under. on the side. Yeah. So that you can okay. for us all. Now let's redraw it again. You'll have your other one here, which is two ohms, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. And then you've got your second resistor here, which is R2, which is three ohms. Right. And then here the voltage V1 is six volts. And then V2 here is uh, 4 volts. Yes. And then from there on, we've got another resistor here, which is R3 with 4 ohms. And then here you've got RL, yeah. which is equals to 6 ohms. Right. Now, this is the question. Here yeah, I said R4 instead of R3. Now, this is the question that you have. Right. Now, we're going to restart again with exactly the same thing that you did. I need you to short circuit V2, right? Yes. So you short circuit V2. After short circuiting V2, you open circuit RL. Are we together? Now, if you open circuit RL here, do you have power on the R3 resistor? Yes. No, right? Because it's an open circuit. Yes. So your circuit now looks exactly like this, which is exactly the same one, right? So let's start with V turbine in one, right? And it's going to be the, the exact same formula, V1 multiplied by, we're looking for the voltage that is going to be here, right? Yes. So it's going to be 3, uh, R2, all over R1 plus R2, are we together? Yeah. Now, which is going to be 6 times 3 over 3 plus 2. What do you get if you say, that's going to be 5, right? right. I can do this one with my head. Yeah. 3 over 5 is 0, 0,6. 0, 0,6 times this. Your answer is 1,2, isn't it? 3,6. 3,6. Yeah, because it's on top, you see, 3 divided by 5, then I times by 6. Ne? Yeah. Yeah, it's giving me that thing. Yeah, let's start again. Oh, 3, comma what? 6 times 6 is 3. 6 times 6 is 36. So the answer is 3, comma 6. Ne? Yeah, this 3,6 is correct. That means I was wrong and said 1,2. Yeah. 3,6 is correct. I was the wrong one. 3,6 is correct. 3,6 volts, right? Yeah. So this is coming from this, res this voltage source. Mm -hmm. Now let's do the second voltage source. You short circuit V1. Are we together? Mm -hmm. After short circuiting V1, it's going to be V turbinin. V2 multiplied by now is it going to be R2? No, right? Because we're 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 we've short circuited this now. This and this are in parallel, so we're looking for the voltage here. Are we together, right? So it's going to be R1 
over R1 plus R2. So in this case, it would be 4 multiplied by 2 over 2 plus 3. What do you get your answers? My answer is 1,6. Nam, nam, that's myself. Yeah, it's right. 1,6. Yes. <laughs> so you have know, 1,6 volts. Right? Yes, sir. Now, thank God, the polarities are all pointing in one direction, right? Yes. So that means for our V total turbulent, right? It's going to be added together. That means it's going to be 1,6 plus 3,6. Your answer is going to be 5,6. Two. Are we together? Yes. Sir. Oh, I'm a god. <laughs> You're a genius. Five comma two. Five comma two volts. Now, five comma two volts is what's flowing now here. Yeah. Are we together? Yes. Sir. Five comma two volts is the voltage that is at this total branch. Are we together? Yeah. Now, after that, let us calculate the current that is flowing through, right? Which is what we're looking for. Now, current is equals. And it depends on how you want to do it, now. Yeah. Let me follow the law. Where is the just a, let me follow the law. The law says you have to calculate the resistance first. But it's running the same thing. <laughs> okay, so let's do this too. So it's going to be, because these two are in parallel. R1 multiplied by R2 over R1 plus R2, which is going to be 2 by 3 over 2 plus 3. What do you get your answers? 6 divided by 5. 1, comma, 1, comma 2. Yes, 1, comma 2. Oof, oh my God. 1,2 ohms. Now it really doesn't matter which, because if you check the last time we did everything together, eh? this time we only did the parallel part. Yes. It really doesn't matter. Now let's calculate the current. Now for the current is going to be V Thevenin divided by the total resistance now. And the total resistance is going to be this R that you did here, right? Yeah. Plus this R plus RL. Are we together? Yes. Which is that R plus R3 plus R. So it's going to be 5,2 divided by, we got the resistance 1,2 plus the resistance there was 4 plus that is 6. six. What do you get your answer as? I'm getting 0,464. 0,464 amps. That is the current flowing through the blood resistor. Are yes. we together? What yes. do you think? Easy stuff, difficult, very easy, very difficult. What do you think? Yes, sir. Just very it. easy. Yeah? Now, they will give you all different types of weird seconds, right? What I need you to do is I will need you to simplify it to something that you understand. Are we together? That's the easiest part. Simplify it to something that is manageable, chewable, and understandable. And then the rest, ah, it's easy stuff.